but welcome. I'm not going to be in um, So Although, I've been, this has been brewing inside of me for a uh, past year and a half. So thank you for really joining us. Yes. Listen, when something, yeah. listen, when something goes under the radar for everyone, um, cause most people, I think I don't, I didn't hear anyone mention this until I watched your video. Cause I've watched, I watch your other videos. And up to that point, I was like, okay, cool. Um, good videos. And then I watched this video and I realized that after, um, hearing, as I just said, up to the Hassan part that I didn't know what any of those previous people did. And then I looked up Max Landis. And I was horrified, to say the least. Um, I will show you exactly why. Before we do, can we take a sure. quick oh, second? Wow. I just want to clear clear some air very quickly before we press on with anything. Where is this? Aspersions were... Go ahead. Yeah, aspersions were cast on your academic status. I don't want to let that sit sort of unaddressed. If you don't mind my asking, like, what are they? Like your credentials or what have you, if you have any. Oh, I have... Um... A bachelor's in uh, mass communications, a master's in English, a master's in sociology, and I'm ABD for my PhD. Uh, but I quit after I passed my comps because after I passed my comps, my promise to myself was that after I passed my comps that I was going to post a YouTube video. Um, and then I became a YouTuber and I was like, ah, we'll finish that okay. some other time. That counts. <laughs> um, and full disclosure, I... Uh... I don't know anything about this. I just didn't like your uh, Attack on Titan take. Yeah, I said, if, if we could, we'll bypass whatever this thing is, and we're going to fight about Attack on Titan. That's, that's the real fight. Well, the, we'll the, see. The, I, have, no. I have a feeling this one's pretty serious, Why? so fingers crossed, but I'm hopeful. I want to have that argument, but I don't I don't know what we're going to see here. So, Which is totally, fo I mean, FD didn't do this, okay? So... The, no, I think, I think, I think, I think he's pulling the string. I think he's in charge of all these people. Okay, true. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's well, kind of what I'm, I'm trying to figure out. And even, even in Sunday's not necessarily favorable chat, I saw people saying, I'm not quite sure what the, the, the thing is here. Yeah, that was Brooks so, who said that. We that's, haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> that's funny. We it's funny you pointed out him. But, uh, no one, no one knows what happened yet. I didn't go into it. I was letting, um, your video speak for itself or rather not speak. Um, hey, chat, no insulting guests. Was yes, no one, it, it was just no one guy to be clear. Not saying like my I'm, chat's insulting the guests, but I'm, like I'm I'm a I'm a tough I'm a tough uh I wouldn't be here if uh I didn't know there would be some um vitriol. Well I Well I, there's I, no vitriol in my chat. I appreciate so. you being a sport at least. Um yeah. so here's the thing. I'm more harsh on people that I think can do better and know better. You know what I mean? Like if someone is just a piece of shit, then I don't bother with them. I'm, I critique people when I think that they are not being completely honest or, or real about something. And so I would just like to show before we continue on what Max Landis actually did. Um, so this is uh, from the Daily Beast. They broke Can this. Can I just, just very, very quickly, before you go into that, uh, yes. what do I call you, by the way? Just FD or Signifier or whatever? FD is fine. FD? FD. Okay. Um, I'm as in the dark about this as uh, maybe more so than you by this point. Um, you said in my chat that you, you still don't know exactly what went down uh, or whatever. And I think I think well, I think the issue very quickly. I think the issue Ico had was that you were promoting this guy's video um, in the same video where you were mentioning that you were to some degree aware that there was something of this ilk going on. So at this juncture, what specifically are you no, aware of? We're not there yet. What? I'm Sorry, just, I'm just asking a question. We're not. We're not. No, no. I understand, but I want to like get this forward before we actually start talking about it. Cool. I'm I'm experiencing well, no, but you are the boss, unfortunately. So life. thank All you. Right. I just I want just us to be clear on what we're discussing before any like uh, thoughts, emotions get inserted into it. With peace and love, thank you very much. Um, 
Okay, so this came out uh, June 2019. Eight women accuse Hollywood filmmaker Max Landis of emotional and sexual abuse. We're not people to him. Um, eight accusers have come forward against the bright screenwriter and Hollywood sign, alleging a pattern of emo- emotional, physical, sexual abuse that spans a decade. So this is a person who's been uh, compared to Harvey Weinstein that people were waiting for years and years to finally uh, be exposed because with his uh, Nepo baby position, um, his level of power, he he was one of those people that uh, couldn't be spoken about. People said that he tortured them, he people, um, he he uh, physically abused them. So it's like it's serious, serious stuff. It's not just like sexual harassment. It's like scary shit, scary shit, Ra- being consistently. Um, I'm not going to read this entire article, but I will link it. Okay. So, so like I said, I haven't um, looked at this throughout this entire time, but um, yeah. I'm still here. He, he, he did hold me down and me while I said no over and over. So he did this to many women. And this was obviously a big story. If you were paying attention to the fact that he was getting canceled, at all during that time. I don't see how you would not know that it was serious enough that you should look into it a little more before you so heavily promoted him. I think it's weird to talk about him getting canceled and merely oh, allude <laughs> merely allude to the potential of sexual abuse but not actually can say I, anything about it. Could I, could, I, could I try and summarize? This is what sort of I've gathered from this. Yeah. Um, FD, given that at the time you made the video, you uh, were very clearly aware of the nature of what this guy was doing, whether or not you need the specifics. And I can understand if, for whatever reason, it's not your job to dig into this or whatever. Um, you promoted a guy's video. You said it was really great. You need to go look at it. da 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 da, da. So directing fairly, I, I think at the time, a fairly sizable audience still in that direction. Um, <laughs> given given that you 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 knew sort of what was going on here, it's it's a little strange that you first of all like directed your audience in that direction, and then afterwards when you were giving examples of hey here's uh here's people talking about all the ridiculous reasons why they were canceled, you start off with Hassan talking about buying a house and whatnot. It whether I don't I I don't think you intended this, but whether or not regardless of your intentions with the video or whatever it's it's it looks kind of weird like you you understand like there's there's a weird kind of um framing going on there i would not with any confidence i don't my general impression of you is not that you would do this but it looks like why why are you putting the most sympathetic foot forward after floating an example and promoting the video by someone who's accused of multiple sexual assault right yeah, uh, yeah. I, don't, I, I probably, if I had to do it again and think about it in that context, mm-hmm. wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, and that just doesn't wasn't where my mind was at the time. Uh, the point of bringing up Landis was because um, he was a bad guy, um, right? And I just assumed a lot of people would know he was a bad guy. And the point of not going deep into his, um, I guess the the accusations, because I don't know the you know, going deep into like what he was canceled for, I think is the best accurate, most accurate way to say it. Um, is one that wasn't really the point of bringing him up. It would have kind of thrown off the entirety of like where the video went from that point on. Um, and that just kind of wasn't my goal. My goal was to couch and say, all right, how does canceling work? What do we cancel for? What is the value in it? Cause I bring them up again later in the video. Yeah. 
Um, and I think I'm more harsh uh, at that point in time. But I also speak to the fact that as harsh as uh, as like that, there's like no we don't have a real uh, framework for like, what do you do after you get canceled? Uh, I think was the point of that particular section. Um, and then having it transition to Hassan is just like, you know, editing. <laughs> this video has a, a interesting backstory in that my editor got into like a, a major car accident in the middle of doing it. It's actually edited by like five different people. Okay. You can tell, I think if you know, if you know like what to look for. Um, so like, I didn't get a chance to do much in terms of rewrites or reshoots or a lot of things on it. And it was already, well, if, late, I, if so I may, I, I mean, presumably the video releases on your timeline. Why not? We mean, well, you, you say you didn't have time for like, oh no, the video, the yeah. video, the videos don't necessarily release on my timeline. There's, there's sponsorships. There's, I need to have a video out in this amount of time so I right. can get paid to pay my bills. Um, but yeah, like so to, to, but you know, I, I'm, I, I'm a, a separate the art from the artist type person. Um, I didn't think of it as promoting, uh, the work of an abuser. Um, I was pointing out that video because I think that video is amazing. Uh, I still think the video is well, amazing. Well, I mean, I mean, perhaps the, if, if I may sort of interrupt you. Um, mm -hmm. You may not think of it as promoting the work of an abuser, but if, if you're saying the work of an abuser is amazing with your channel to thousands of people, you are quite literally promoting the work of an abuser. No. Yeah, no that that's that's a no that's a fair interpretation. That's kind of why I started out with like, yeah, I didn't this the way you all are are framing it is not how I thought about it in the moment, but like it's not necessarily the most unfair way of looking at it. Okay, so to, so so essentially, what you're saying to be clear is. Um, you were loosely aware of the controversy around this person and of the accusations mm -hmm. around this person. Um, well, well, I suppose we should look at the next part where Can you I... address this guy later on. I just want, let me finish this thought very quickly. Um, but when you were producing it, uh, so when, when you say like this was produced by five other people and your editor had a car accident and so on and so forth, is the, is what you're trying to suggest is that the franticness of the production is responsible for the way in which this is arranged. So that somebody, for example, who just watched up to this point and clicked off would just see you promoting this guy and then talking about mm -hmm. Hassan Piker as an example of someone who's been canceled for frivolous reasons. That was yeah, I definitely okay. Would he, the takeaway, like no, no. So I'm not no. So let me be clear. Okay. Um, let me let me try to be as clear as possible. Uh. The, the critique you all are levying here is a fair one. Um, it wasn't my intention. Um, I, I did not think of it in the way you're like framing it now when I was making it. And had I had all the time in the world to finish this video, I still may not have done it that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, I can't, I'm not even presenting that as a, like a, well, if you know, had it not been rushed, I would have da, da, da. like, no, I'm not, I'm not sure that's the case. Cause part of the goal of the video is to be kind of confrontational about the nature of canceling. Yeah. And, and like, can you like a person's work that is bad? What does that mean about you? What does that mean about the person? What does that mean about art? What value is there in liking or disliking or promoting or hiding a guy? The fact that Max Landis, so I didn't, you know, start watching Max Landis because he was an abuser. I didn't know he was an abuser when I was first introduced to him as a, a creator. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that he was a, an abuser doesn't change the relationship I had with his art when I first I discovered totally it. I totally agree. I totally agree. Um, I recently found out about the Neil Gaiman allegations. You know Neil Gaiman? I'm familiar writer. with the name. Is I, Neil, I always thought yeah. it was Neil Gaiman. Yeah. Neil Gaiman, really? Is, is it oh. Why the Last Man, I think he wrote? Uh, why the Last Man? I think, I think no. he's more known for um, Good Omens at the moment. Good Omens and... Um, American Gods. American Gods. Uh, Nancy Brothers, he, nobody cares about that one, though. Yeah. Um, but anyway, he. I love oh, no, Neil Gaiman's that. work. Recently, stuff has come out about him being like an in intense, like abuser, uh, 
wild stuff, right? I still enjoy his work, but I also like now I know and I'm like, okay, that's a part of his legacy. It is what it is. And moving forward, um, when I watch his stuff, I'll probably watch his stuff. But I also know that's like, that's a just, that's a part of, uh, that's a part of the package, right? I think it's important to just like acknowledge that someone like if you if you do something like this and people find out it's important to not like minimize or bury it but you don't have to go after anyone for liking the person or enjoying their work it's not a reflection on on your character from like for liking Max Landis's work it's just for me Some it's say about, it is. well that's them that, and their that, that was just a, I'm sorry that was a throwaway that, no, don't no I get I totally get it I think that it's important to just like own the reality of the situation and not try to justify it, um, if that makes sense. I would like to challenge the idea that you were harsher to him later on. I've pulled up the other time Sam switches. So we're the next time you bring him up is at one hour, 51 minutes and 23 seconds. So do you see the screen share? Yes. Okay, I will start. Cannot change that dynamic. Max Landis just last week released another video addressing his cancellation. For years, I had awful, messy relationships and where I was a toxic partner. And this spread to even my casual relationships. This was just about the way I treated people. Um, I was never, you know, in the discussion about me and in public shamings, they want people to either be a, a sociopathic narcissist predator or a totally innocent ally. And the truth is, um, I'm not a sociopathic narcissist predator, but I, uh, through my life, I understand why people hate me enough to say that. And I doubt it changes anything about his situation and how he's perceived because of the community he is beholden to. I haven't followed Landis in years, so I don't know how to judge his changes since being canceled, considering that Landis has had more serious accusations and was already a divisive figure beforehand. I okay, so you put up on the screen Max Landis accused of rape, assault and psychological abuse. Um, all right. Get so why basically his saw the same numerous thing. attempts at apologizing haven't allowed him to recover to anywhere close to where his numerous attempts and was already a divisive figure beforehand. I get why his numerous attempts at apologizing haven't allowed him to recover to anywhere close to where he was. And again, you're only as canceled as your next project. But I think looking at his situation kind of exemplifies the flaws of this accountability myth in that we don't really have a developed framework for what real accountability looks like. And I'd argue that a lot of us don't care. Um, but I guess I'd like I would also like to point out that his accountability would literally be prison based on what he did, which is crime. So I just want to throw that out there. So the uh, I, um, next, sorry, Colin, finish, finish your thought. I, I want to respond to this after though. Okay, I'm just making sure that I just want to uh, play the last portion. We're in the okay. sand. There's no more forever after this conversation. On that Brody Deschanel video about canceling, Landis actually left another comment, basically asking. What am I supposed to do? And like, says, I still don't understand what's expected from me or how I'm supposed to function in society or emotionally. I was asked essentially to die and go away. Important video. I don't have a good answer for that. And I don't think anybody does, to be honest with you. There definitely needs to be a greater discussion and investigation on what the appropriate response is to people who transgress and then submit to being held accountable that we haven't had yet. And my problem is we think we've already had it. And I want to be clear, the people are. OK, so I, I that. So is... I'm 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 yeah, I, I'm in a I'm in a weird position here, to be honest, because I don't disagree with this. Um, oh, wait, sorry. There's one more one more part featured in this okay. video that have problematic and sketchy past. The goal wasn't to launder their names or make you rethink whether or not they're being treated fairly. I don't want anyone to give Rewired Soul a pass on his toxic behavior or ignore Hassan's edginess or forgive Max Landis. I just want to again ask, 
Why are we like this? I feel like comparing Why? Hassan to Max Landis is a little unfair, but go on. Okay. Uh, I yeah. think that's, I think that is okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm okay. So I, I think, I think we're all, uh, it, it, not to speak for you, Iko, my apologies. Uh, tell me if I'm misrepresenting you here, but I, I think we're all in agreement that, and signifier as well, that uh, promoting the video of Max Landis was probably a mistake. I don't, I, I don't, don't think I, that's a mistake. I, I don't. So fine. here's the thing. Yeah. If there's one thing I know I would still do, yeah, I would still point out that I love that video. But why? Yeah, but I think why? no, no. Because I think it's fine that, because because yeah. that was kind of the point of this. Of, oh part boy, of the point this is going to be video, interesting. Okay, go on. It, part of the whole point of this video is to uh, critique the way we respond to bad people. Right. Um, and like the way that we respond to the way that people respond to bad people. Let's, let's get the full context here. This comes, this is my, um, magnum opus about online drama after a good year of being involved directly in online drama, which culminated in, um, being catching a backlash from the backlash for DJ Mule. Um, so after this, despite other people bringing me up a lot and, and spreading misinformation, we'll get to that, 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 uh, that, uh, that trash panda issue uh, later in the video as well, or later in this, our conversation as well, professor, um, president, I'm sorry. I keep on calling you professor. You're president. When sir. Vosh was covering the, when me and Vosh were like, Slightly beefing over the Professor Flowers thing in the background. He kept calling her President Flowers and me Professor Sunday. Happened. Same same situation. Um, but the goal was for me to try to put everything I felt about drama and everything I wanted to critique about drama in one video. And at that earlier point, I was responding to the criticism that because I did not think DJ Mule was the most awful person ever and needed to, you know, never be on the internet and die, et cetera, et cetera, that that made me a bad person. And that's a, that's like a, a tool often used to harangue and silence people. Um, online is like, well, you know, all these things, right. But you know, this person knows and likes this person. Okay. And I First think aside course. from being, well, let me just finish this yeah, on, real please. quick. I think aside from being a not very, uh, powerful critique that kind of it, that that type of attack really just hinges on, you know, uh, I don't know, populism, essentially. Um, it also is just not very logical because all of us have connections to influences from and like relationships in, in, in some form of fashion with problematic people, um, especially problematic creators and artists. And so it was like, no, I'm going to put out there that like I probably wouldn't be a YouTuber right now if I didn't watch a lot of Max Landis videos between, I don't know, 2017 and 2020. Okay. Um, let me uh, let, 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 let me let me retort a little bit here. So. I agree with you, look, I, I started my channel as a as a weird conservative, fresh out of Christian high school bozo. OK, I did a lot of uh, videos. Who, who's yeah. in the chat here? Who's in the call? Get out. Okay. Yeah. Nobody's nobody come in. Nope. I will kick you immediately. Um, sorry. Uh, I did a lot of weird videos using uh, writings by people like Carl Schmidt, actual Nazi to do like political analyses of like video games and whatnot. Okay. Like I understand the idea of using of appreciating the work of really bad people on its own merits and so on and so forth. If it has something to offer, it'd be stupid to toss it away in that respect. People say the same thing about Rousseau. Rousseau abandoned all of his children, he's kind of a dick, so on and so forth. Um, Marx is a fuck boy, Bill Hooks was a landlord. Marx was a loving father, sir. But so, leaving that aside. Me to an illegitimate chat. We'll go, all right, go ahead. But, <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, but that being said, there is a bit of a difference, I think, between, for example, making positive use or appreciation of the artistic work of a very bad man and promoting specifically a YouTube video of a man who is actively being accused of, of crimes. And, and here's 
an example that's still living right now that affected me recently. I actually mentioned this to Ico earlier. I don't know if you're aware of a, a YouTuber called Feature Man. Very, probably not. He's like he's like an older, older individual. He uh, got a big boost on YouTube because um, Moist Critical was like covering a lot of weird, bad cooking videos on YouTube. And he found this quirky old man who used to be uh, some kind of showman or comedian or something. Who was like just making random, random stuff with like dollar store ingredients. Um, it recently came out that uh, he had actually a boy of 14 years in the 50s. And uh, he is still in business on YouTube because there are a whole ton of people who will continue to watch him anyways. And one of the the things that sort of is, is, is stuck in my craw here when I'm looking at the, the promotion of Max Linus's video here, even, even in this call, is that this guy is still living. This guy is directly profiting, not just monetarily from attention to this video, but also because if this guy is genuinely like charismatic and appealing in his videos, these are people who are going to become emotionally attached to this person and will likely also serve to defend this person when he is accused in future by other people. So it's like, I'm, I'm not saying that you intended to do this, but like it's, it strikes me as something that's, that's sort of inherently irresponsible, something kind of not to be done. If somebody is, like we're not talking about someone who's bad but dead or bad but in prison. We're talking about someone who's accused and who is still who's still around and like when, yeah. And suffered no repercussions other than his, you know, his public image. Right. Um, no, that's, that's, a, that's a, a fair critique. That's just not how I thought about it in the moment. Um, and, and even now, I think I, if, just kind of like going back, I haven't watched this video in a while. Um, I imagine that that was probably an ad lib. <laughs> what was um, just, That me talking about the video. Um, uh, it's probably an ad lib. Um, like, you know, I mean, like, I have a script, right? Like I, I read a script. This is not me. Like I'm not that eloquent, right? So there's a script and then like there's different points on the script where my brain would just say, oh, say this. Um, so uh, ad lib, like adding. Max ad Landis was an ad lib? No, like talking about wrestling isn't wrestling. The video. Right, but. That's what we're talking about right you... now. Right, but why wouldn't you have brought it up if you're talking about your inspiration? Oh, no, that's probably why I brought it up. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, what I'm saying is I did not think about this the way you all are thinking about it now. As promotion? All I thought about, no, I didn't think about it as promotion. Mostly because his, his channel's dead. Um, he was, like, thoroughly, like, put out the game. I believe so, like, he's still working. No, no, I'm sure he's still working in some form and fashion, but he's not like a Hollywood writer or a successful YouTuber. I don't know what I haven't checked this channel much. I'd be shocked if he was still, you know, growing and doing numbers on his videos. Um, but I don't know. I haven't not, watched him. Yeah, well, if, if I if I may though, very, very quickly, sure, uh, very possible. Okay, let's run with that. So Max Landis, guy who's being accused of multiple sexual assault, otherwise like mm -hmm. fairly fairly embedded in Hollywood, fairly like. In, in a position of advantage with respect to his his victims, the people who are accusing him. Um, wouldn't then that sort of escalate the danger? Because now you risk taking someone who's being accused of sexual assault and promoting his channel, potentially resurrecting it. Yeah, I just... <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't think that's... I don't, I don't think that's a... I don't think that's a realistic outcome. Um... I don't think I have no. that much power. I don't think I was. Yeah. I, I, well, hang I on, mean, hang on. Well, well, but if, if I may, though, <laughs> if you if you went on stream tomorrow, I dare you, by the way. But if you went on stream tomorrow and you said President Sunday's critique of my uh, attack on Titan Take was one of the most brilliant things I've ever seen. Whatever else I think about him, you should go check it out. You don't think that would positively affect me at all? Like that would give me some level of. Uh... It would. That's why you should do it. Yeah. yeah. Like. <laughs> No, no, I'm not saying you guys are wrong. Like, I want to be clear. You're making fair criticisms of how this, like, played out in the right. video. Um, I'm just explaining the thought process I was in while I was making it. 
And the process I was in was trying to create conflict between like the safe, comfortable way to engage with and regard problematic and canceled figures and like the natural response you have to say, oh, this video is really good. Go watch it. Like I wasn't thinking about Max Nat Landis when I said that. I was thinking about my audience who a lot of them, I'm sure, like wrestling. Like, hey, you guys would love this video. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 a weird. I said, like, no, no. OK, a, if I may, can I just just so we're on the same page? So when you say you guys would love this video. Mm hmm. Am I correct in, in reading you as you as you clarify here? What you intended to say was not you guys would like this video, go check it out. We can see if what you say in the video, of course. Um what you what you're saying you intended to say was um this uh this crazy guy who did all these horrible things, uh you would actually love this video. Isn't that strange to think about? Something like that. Is that sort of what you're what you're going for? It's probably a mix between the two. Okay. Um, on mm -hmm. one end, on one end, it's this guy's. What I, my, the end, the end goal was. Well, no, the, the video. I think the video that video in particular was more so just. I think this is an amazing video. Everybody should watch it. Um, like if I'm honest about right. talking about the video specifically, but that entire section going from nostalgia critic to Max Landis was to kind of put everybody in a position to think about how they actually respond to problematic figures when they like the thing that the problematic figure does. That, that was the ultimate goal of that section. Because I think the comfortable thing to do, especially online, is for everybody to just kind of like self-purity test their own like persona and everything they say online. I agree, like, but you have to admit, like, multiple sexual assault is one of those things we probably should continue purity testing for, no? I, I would agree. I okay. would agree. I would agree. And yeah, I would like was, to say, that's a thing mm -hmm. in, and in, in I think maybe more your sphere, but that's not, like, an inherent thing on online. I think that it's about you as a creator have to set the tone as to, like, owning what the reality is, what you're comfortable with, what your standards are, instead of allowing people to come at you and tell you what you have to do. And I don't, I think that you could have done the same thing. But you, without but you realize this video was for my sphere, though. Like, this is one of the most morbidly online, chronically online videos I've made. It's literally called, I think, The Online Left Almost Killed Me or something like that. Yeah. Uh, left This Infighting Almost Killed Me. Um, it's so like, it was a specific. It, it was specifically a message to the type of people within the community that I'm a part of. But that's precisely. That, that, I I understand what you're saying, but that's precisely why why I take so much issue with it because this is a community that of its by it by itself is not intrinsically wedded to the kind of uh, spheres that Max Landis is involved in, which means that this is now an entirely new audience you've breached for Max Landis without without his input at all like you're, you're giving the opportunity for a person who's for very good reasons burned yeah, his his just, reputation in a bunch of different places now he has access to another audience and that's a potentially a swelling just, of new people who so might, yeah. go on please i so regarded max landis as dead that that just didn't cross my mind right I just, just you thought like, it was it, like it, to me it, th that would be like saying oh no that's not a good that's not a good example uh, yeah, it's just to me, it was to me, it was more valuable to expose my audience to a thing they would like than to worry about if the thing they liked would somehow create uh, a, a way for a bad guy to awaken. If I may become more prominent, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. What was the um, what was why did you suppose that Max Landis was dead, quote unquote? Not, not like, not actually, like, literally dead. No, like, no, no. I, I understand, but like, like, like his, his, his career, like, like his there wasn't, there wasn't a thing, there wasn't a thing that could be resurrected. Like his career is done. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like his career, like he's not a, he's not a, a online, like he's not Nick Fuentes. You know what I'm saying? It's weird because uh, that's actually yeah. the example that comes to mind. But keep going, please. Right. He, he's not, he's not Nick Fuentes, where he's going to resurrect by going on a million podcasts and saying his things. Um. He was a, a Holly, like his real job was as a Hollywood writer or uh, producer. And 
that ended his YouTube channel. I, I mean, don't know. Jordan Peterson was a psychologist once. So, well, but he, then he became a thing. Yeah. It's also immune to criticism. So it's, it's Jordan Peterson. Now I think couldn't go back to psychology. Didn't he get his license revoked? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, that, that, that would have been fairly recent though. He's been more of a, uh, he's been more of a YouTuber pundit kind of guy yeah, for the last, pundit for, for a while. So, just like, so if Max Landis, I guess my, my here's a question I have. If yeah. Max Landis reemerged to be prominent on YouTube, you know, in the next six months, would you think it was because of me? No, but here's what I, here's what I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think for a mm -hmm. second that it was because of Red Letter Media who had him appear multiple times, but who deleted all of the videos with Max Landis to break down any possible association or to help promote him after the fact. Yeah. But do you, here's the thing, though. Is the importance whether or not it's your fault or is it that you contributed to a bad situation that can harm more people in the future? Create some kind of harm. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's a, you. No, no, no. That's a fair, that's a fair, that's a fair critique. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I was hoping I would hate team. this guy. This is no fun. I, I'm, I'm liking his responses so far. Yeah, no, because uh, I get it. I get it, especially as uh, as you all like as you all are experiencing the video. Because you make you make a thing, you have an image in your head as to how this thing is going to work, and then you give it to the world, and they're like, "Yeah, this." And sometimes you're like, "Yeah, that exactly," and then sometimes you're like, "No, that's not at all what happened there." You and thought so Max Landis. Of, you thought Max Landis was bigger than you. Yeah. Huh. He, he's a he's a he has literal like he's a Hollywood. Well, no, of, co of course, of course he uh, is. But what, what what's what's okay? So here's here's the read. I'm just to clarify why this is this is kind of perplexing to me because obviously Max Landis is bigger than you. Um, but in in this respect, if Max Landis is dead on this medium, this is a medium where kooks and failures go to to resurrect resurrect right or to reinvent themselves or whatever john grew now you are you a football guy no do, do you do, do i look like a football football guy to you come on you wouldn't know people don't think i'm a football guy you look like a football you, you guy never, to me it, it takes all it takes all types but you finished though i'm sorry you got you got the set you got you i was got trying the, to co-sign with a football you're looking example. you're looking down at me from your camera okay that screams football fan for some reason to my nerd brain um I don't know what the fuck I'm saying here. Um, you, 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 would, you, you would just you would realize that I thought Max Landis was bigger than me, um, and you were pointing out that YouTube was a place. No, no, I understand what I'm saying. I didn't understand what I was saying with that oh. previous comment. Um, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so in your head, you thought that mentioning Max Landis was sort of like me mentioning Destiny. I can get clicks from this. I'm not going to affect Destiny's bottom line. It doesn't matter. Something like that. I mean, not so much getting clicks, right? Because yeah. he doesn't have, you know, any mojo on YouTube. Right. Um, well, it was, I mean, to me it was he a, could, though, right? That's he he could. He could. If he wanted if he wanted to, I'm sure he could figure it out. Um, and, and maybe I would. Like, maybe if Max Landis got really big again and, like, it started, like, percolating uh, more about, like, his stuff, maybe I would delete that section of the video. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's the thing I would I would consider if I thought there was like if I thought there was real harm that could be done from it. Um, but in my head at the time, I was mentioning a person that was more significant than me, especially at the time. This is like a good year and a half ago now. And I, I've grown exponentially since then. Um, so I feel like I may have been like four or five hundred K at most. Yeah. You were that's still like that's big though. Or that's I'm big. That's big. Though. But it's not like, you know, like you said, moist critical. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, well, it's like, not like now it's weird. Yeah. Go ahead. And like but, now, especially because I pushed like 800 plus and, and like videos. I, 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 the last video I did was, uh, well, before this pre previous one was like three million, almost going on 4 million views. Like now I'm thinking of myself differently. Um, uh, and like I did, and, and, and to be uh, uh, even more honest, I really didn't understand what four or 500 K meant then because i'm if i'm not mistaken not long after this was the whole kidology debacle which i i definitely wish i could do over you know what i'm saying and that was partially because i didn't understand 
the size of my like my channel um and what that meant um but no like to, to but to be clear you guys are right if i had this to do again i still would probably like try to make this point somehow some way um if i were to mention max landis i would still mention that video because like the goal was to make people uncomfortable with the safety of being like publicly i don't like Probably but guy bad, don't like, not going to talk. Well, if I, if I may, just to give you a little bit of pushback there. So, Iko, mm -hmm. the, uh, the section you're on, I don't think you've moved it. That is roughly about where he mentions the, uh, the accusations against Max Landis, yes? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That's like, uh, that's an, doesn't really, yeah. That's like an hour and 50 minutes into the video, dude. The people who first see the me reference to Max Landis, they're not seeing that. They're seeing, oh, there's cancelable well, no, things, don't, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I was never interested in speaking on his crimes in the video. Right. Or, or his accusations, I, I guess, is... But you did bring them into the video. Like, they are there, whether like you're I, interested I, I or didn't not. Wanna, I didn't want to not, yeah. I didn't want to not, like, not, like, like, act like it didn't exist at all. Right? Like, I felt like it was, it, that he was accused of abuse um, by a lot of women, and that was why he got taken off the map. So I didn't want to not touch it at all, but like, my, my, I mean, like he was a small part of a, the video overall. And so that was really supposed but to be more about me. He's the, the only one who got your endorsement for his video, right? What do you, no, I mean, I, I've been interviewed multiple No, no, people. no, you interviewed multiple people, but I don't think, I haven't seen the whole video, but I'm, I'm going to assume you didn't say about Hassan Piker, for example. Hey, here's a video of his. You gotta go see this guy's, right? I don't know if that's a oh. reasonable I mean, point to say because Hassan is I'm pretty just much the least. I'm just giving no, no, no. I'm just no, no. I understand. I'm just giving an example though. Like for example, I, I think the point I'm making is like, I don't I think watch it's Hassan. Is huge. I don't think it's a good comparison. <laughs> no, no. You're missing. You're missing my. You're missing my point, Iko. I'm saying that Max Landis is still the only person who had a video of his specifically endorsed in the video, regardless, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. Um, but that would only like I did. I endorsed. Oh fuck! I I never thought about it as endorsing. <laughs> I endorsed the video to like to kind of like draw out the or engage with the discomfort of talking about a bad guy favorably in public. Right. And then forcing people who are watching me to think about what I'm doing and whether or not they like that I'm doing that. Right? Right. Now, Do you at think the time, anyone knew who he was, though, like in your audience? Because I, I didn't, and most people that, I mean, I don't, I don't know if, I mean, maybe people in your sphere do, but no one else really knew who he was i mean that's not something i thought about a ton uh i think some people definitely knew who he was and i think some people didn't i didn't think about i didn't think about whether or not i did not think about like the one thing i definitely didn't think about was that this was a way to endorse launder and possibly resurrect max landis like that was not something i was considering at all. Yeah. And maybe I, and I, and I probably should have considered that. Like, I, I, that's what your criticism. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, I didn't think about that. Well, at I'm just going to, I'll, I'll make it, I'll make it like as, as con that. I'll make it as concrete as possible. So like Weinstein would probably not have been convicted if it wasn't for the Me Too movement. It wasn't for the massive amount of attention, like public attention, not, not specifically like valid legal cases, but like public attention on people in Hollywood, for example, abusing their power to sexually abuse people and so on and so forth. And the, the flip side of this is if there is a large number of people who are increasingly like attached to some public figure or whatever, because they were inspiring or charismatic when they were watching them, those people are really effective at shutting down people who are bringing accusations. And so one of the, like the reason why this is such an issue is not because, oh, he like FT signifier in particular didn't do his homework and, and he appreciated a video by one of the people on the naughty list. The point is that there's a very real potential, especially as as you're saying, like your channel's growing substantially, that people who peruse your content could find this stuff, find this person appealing, be more receptive to his very sympathetic explanations of his situation, and therefore like swell the ranks of people who are defending this person 
from accusations by other people because like it all comes down to a sympathy game ultimately at the end and that's that's how that's how you win is by 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 just getting getting more positive exposure than the people who are accusing you so i mean like that that's that's for me that's why yeah so yeah so but part of the point of the video was that like in that last section yeah yeah. was we don't rubric for this anyway we don't want none of us oh you you cut out briefly there was a glitch uh say that again i said part part of the 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 issue the part of the like core theme of the video that i got to when i talked about in the second time is that we don't have a real rubric for this anyway and so like what all of what you're saying is not like i wasn't engaging with it from that standpoint i was thinking Hey, a person, because so like, oh, that's and also fair enough. look, look, I'm, I don't, I don't want to be, I'm not implying that you like meant any of this just to be clear. Like I'm not, yeah. uh, I'm not, I'm not saying like, oh, you, you had like a content creator that you really like personally and you were just like, well, I don't care if he potentially people, I'm going to promote him because I like this guy. I don't think, I don't think you were doing that. Um, just like, just bluntly on a, on a material level. It's like, it's a, you, the video. I understand. I think another on. thing I, I want to. I'm sorry to cut you off. No, no. I'm also like, and I'm a, I'm also an abolitionist, right? I'm anti carceral and I'm anti carceral as a mentality. You know what I'm saying? So right. like, um, you know, I was talking about accountability as a myth. You know what I'm saying? Because like, what is the question? There is what is accountability? Like, under what context? What situation does Max Landis have to be in? Where, and I'm not even saying this like to defend myself now. I'm just actually interested in what you all think. What situation would Mac, Max Landis have to be in where I shouldn't even have to think twice about uh, bringing him up positively in a video? Complete social okay. destruction to the but extent wait. of someone like a Jeffrey Dahmer and hopefully in jail. That'd be okay, mine. well, since you're <laughs> abolitionist, what, I'm sorry, what would you typically say for someone who is a serial rapist? Like what? I don't. I don't know what your your stance is in general on like. Justice. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we would do with a serial rapist. Um, like I don't have a a personal theory on that. Um, like in general, some, it's re, there's restorative justice methods that say like you force them to be indentured to their victims in some form of fashion, pay restitution. There's people that are a little more hardcore and say they you what they ask. Um, you know, there's uh, it, I, corporal it, punishment. Real. Yeah, like there's there's How people that, that don't believe in prisons that believe you just the way you address you beat them. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, like literally, I think I think beating up a person one time is actually far more humane than putting them in prison. Um, for okay. really any amount of time. But how is um, that going to? Okay, I'm not gonna. I know that's not your your uh, right. specific point, but I mean, he's extremely wealthy he could just pay victims and what would that change like he could just still continue to offend and nothing would happen i think at the very least i i i don't think that there's a a thing where you can just go on autopilot and be like yeah this person's a great guy everything's fine like i think that acknowledging the the past in gen- like I think that it's just a part of history. It's a part of it's a part of the paper trail. It's a part of what what it is. And I think that it shouldn't be that you have to uh you don't have to you don't have to do anything. I think you have to take a case by case situation and just talk about it how you will. You know what I mean? Like I don't think like his accountability like and his level of accountability shouldn't affect how you you talk about him other than like just what you think about the situation but like on honestly i don't know if that makes sense well i think if i may i think i think what i was trying to say is um like when you're talking for example about like i i'm actually kind of in agreement with this i think i think imprisonment is a much crueler punishment than um in some cases even execution depending on how how long we're talking here. Um, but like, I think, I think what Iko's saying is like a, a, a short event, like say a beating say, or like a massive fine or whatever. The, the, the person is still in a situation where they can come back from it. I think for me, 
what's most important is not that the individual is personally suffering for as long as possible. It's a nice cherry on top if you really think they deserve it, but leaving that aside. Um, what's more important is that the person is not able to be uh, reconciled to society on the cheap in advance of like ex extraordinary proof of the person changing taking place. So for instance, um, Max Landis disappearing for 20 years, going to a Buddhist monastery and coming back and, and preaching uh, consent and whatnot. Okay. Okay, promote that video. But Max Landis making inspiring videos while these accusations are floating around and all that's happened is he's had the accusations and he's just very uncomfortable about it. That's not, that's not great. So the, the question is like, what, what, what is required to get to a point where you are not potentially actively abetting somebody who is only superficially repentant, if even, and versus like, whether you're regarding someone who the person who did those crimes actually is a person at the at an earlier stage of a transformative process, like a genuinely transformative process, which I don't think jail is to be clear. I think jail is the death penalty for people who don't want to dirty their hands. But yeah, like, I'm not saying that yeah. I think that he should be in jail. I mean, he should be. I but think that if he in, I'm, in the I'm absence saying, of a better I'm alternative. I'm not prescribing anything in particular. If he was someone else with less power, if he wasn't a white man, he very well could be in jail with everything that he's done. But what I'm saying is that I think it's more it's more important for people to be able to make educated decisions for themselves on what they think and how they want to conduct themselves. And I think my issue based on your video is that the general public who trusts you who like, you know, your viewers, they like assume that you're giving them all the context they need in order to feel like they can go off. They're like going off of your vibes because they trust the way that so, you so, are portraying yeah, I don't, the situation. And yes, I don't, I just, I just didn't see myself as giving off the vibe of like, yeah, Max Landis. Like I, the, the, I, I, I say he did very bad things that were more severe than the accusations yada 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 um and like he, i say he was canceled for a reason um so like i'm not and that's kind of why i didn't think of it as me promoting like a person with an abusive past um i i thought of it as me engaging with my parasocial relationship with a problematic figure um and you know i would probably I, like i said i probably would think about it differently now especially at the at the 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 space I am as a creator now, um, but at the time it's just not. That's just not how I contextualized it. I that's, contextualized that's great. It I I actually completely believe yeah. you. So here's uh here's if I may, let me uh let me up the ante a little bit. So knowing what you do now, given that you've acknowledged that you think these are fair criticisms, would you remove the section from the video that promotes the video of his? No, I don't I'll definitely I'll, I'll definitely maybe I, I can I can definitely remove the, the section that promotes his video like if I if if that red if, letter media did it with like, like multi-million no, view I videos I I do that that well, that, well they were well so first off yeah. it, like let's be clear it doesn't hurt me at all to remove yeah like the large chunk um other than like as a artist wanting the message of the video to be uh effective um so like that particular piece is not really important that particular piece is not as important as like the end piece um and then like the that beginning part makes that end part make sense um so removing that part oh man i don't think that that's the answer i don't think that it should be like oh like you this is what you have to do i think if, it's just a matter of information i don't think that there was enough context for people to be able to like have their their own idea of like what the gravity of Max Landis should be. You know what I mean? I think that like you have your own take based well, I don't on know. what so you. I don't know if I agree with that. Like I, you, I like. You don't think so? Aside from, I mean, aside from like not saying Max Landis was accused of sexual assault. Uh, did I? Did I not imply that he? did very bad things maybe i didn't well, okay if, if i may hang on here here's here's 
very very clearly like i'm actually going to bolster your point very strongly if you look at your videos analytics you're going to see like what the drop off point was for most people who view your video and i would reckon that the vast majority of them are going to drop off before the halfway mark it's a very long video oh no yeah i'm, I'm not even talking i'm talking about the up the, up the, up the yeah. uh at the front yeah no you you said that he okay. did bad things that you're not going to get into you don't really totally know about the details and and so on and so forth it was very vague and then also so me as someone who didn't know anything about him the only reason why i know is because I, this is how i look at things this is how i analyze content it's just if I don't know what's going on, if someone apologizes and I don't understand what they did, I dig into it. And that's why this is the whole entire thing. It's not that what you did is like horribly evil or bad or no, wrong. No, I get you. I think I think I agree yeah. with you. Right. That. So there's a lot of things. Um, but overall, I get what you're saying. That. If I wanted to, for lack of a better way of putting it, be uh, cover my bases in terms of like being responsible for how mm -hmm. I engage with the problematic figure, considering the gravity of his accusations, the more appropriate thing would have been to be a little more detailed about yeah. what happened. I yeah. get you. That's no, no. It's, it, really yeah, that, it. yeah. That's really no, my right. only thing is just... So that way the audience can decide what they think about Max Landis and also respect your opinion because your opinion on him and his work is valid and that's fine. It's from your perspective. I just think that everyone with their own life experience and their own principles and way of seeing the world, they should be able to get uh, a sense of how much they want to look into him. You don't have to say the entire thing. But, you know, it was just not like based like the experience of it and then immediately going to Hassan and him saying he's canceled Hassan being super wholesome in that, you know, like, I mean, if, if I may, overall. if I may, like literally just cutting out the, the, the brief part where you say you should all go check this out. I mean, no, that would no, I, 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 I think I it changes it quite a bit, actually, because now because, I disagree because I think why? it's fine to say I think it's fine to praise someone's work. But I think that it's important to balance it out with the reality of the situation because it's a good point. Like, how do we engage with problematic figures, people who have done no, things? No, but Aiko, it's an if individual I, choice. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get that. I'm on the same page with you there. But it's like at the same time, it's like you promote the video at the beginning of the video and the specifics of sexual assault are not actually brought up until the end. Even though Max Landis himself references these things, he also says he points them out as an extreme. It's like, I could be the nicest guy or I could be the da 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 and like that. Like if if that's if that's the concern, if the concern actually is promoting the guy's video, which I thought it was, then like that's, no, no, that's I, like two I, words. So, <laughs> so weirdly, yeah. I agree with Iko about how bad I was here. Um, <laughs> in that I think because like I don't know, I'm I, I'm waffling back and forth a lot here. Brooks, who was in my chat saying he hates you, is now just saying you seem lovely. So well done there. I mean, most people that actually, I mean, that's the nature of, of that's why I don't engage with drama a lot. I've literally, except for one or two times, never actually talked to a person that's criticized me and had them leave with the same impression they were presenting before I came on. It's just, you know, that's just how it works. But but finishing with, 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 with Ico, I think Sorry, yeah, I'm so slippery like that. Uh, because I, I think Ico's the I think the strongest point here, because because I'm being honest, we're, we're a year and a half later. Max Landis is still canceled. He still doesn't have anybody watching his videos, yada, yada, yada. So, like, we have a case study to say me mentioning that video in a positive manner didn't produce any tangible result to his reclamation of his career. But it was, in some ways, a betrayal of my audience's trust to not be a little more explicit about his accusations um, while I was talking about him in a positive manner, yeah, because thank you. it didn't give the audience, it relied on the audience's trust in me to say he's bad, but not so bad that I wouldn't bring him to you. It probably would have actually been more effective had I mentioned it. Like if my, my yeah. ultimate goal of being like, Hey, how do you feel about bad guys? Awesome work probably would have been even more challenging had I mentioned specifically what he did. 
Thank you. you know that's saying? exactly what I that's really, really all that I wanted from that. I really hate this. I have to argue this guy about Attack on Titan now, and now I'm going to feel bad about being mean. Like, fuck. I was going to make... I was going to get... I was getting clicks off that, too. I was going to get so many clicks just, just milking you, and it's just, fuck, damn it. I mean, you know, you you got my whole weeks. Got my whole week has to be rescheduled. Shoot. Uh, can can we talk about? Can I can I clear one thing up that Please. I've seen in your chat multiple times that I, I I just have to continue to clear up? I have never called Shark Zero Three O Zero a trash panda. 